in this part or in this episode we are just going to briefly take a look on how to create custom frame buffers and also how to use these uh, custom frame buffers to texture a plane. So the end result will look like this where we will have the chibi character, rotating chibi character and also just a plane and as you can see this plane is textured dynamically textured with this uh, chibi character. So technically now the, this plane uses uh, as a texture the default frame buffer. So we are texturing from the default frame buffer um, this using as a texture the default frame buffer for this custom um, frame buffer. Um, I hope it is understandable. So nothing changes on the, nothing is changing on the vertex sh uh, shader or in the fragment shader. The only thing I changed, I created for the plane, the buffer, so the vertices, texture coordinates, vertices, texture coordinates, the next vertex and the texture coordinates. I also created the plane indices for index drawing. And here are the chibis VAO and here is the planes VAO. Or a vertex array object. Here I created two texture slots and to the texture slot 0 I loaded the chibi png file and for the texture slot 1 I created an empty texture so here I'm binding the texture uh, to slot 1 uh, creating the wrapping and also the filtering parameters and here I'm just creating an empty texture so as you can see the last value to this function is set to none and yeah and it will be an RGBA with the size of 1280 by 720 and here is the interesting part first I'm just creating the depth buffer so without this I'm just going to show you I'm going to comment out these three lines and also this one line so without this as you can see it's not uh, I mean it not shows properly there are there are holes in the in the texture so that's why we need to create this depth buffer using the glgen render buffers. Here I'm binding the render buffer to glrender buffer and using the glrender buffer storage or storage I'm using uh, the depth component of this uh, so the depth of the render buffer and also the size so 1280 bar 720 and here I'm creating an FBO or, or, a, or a frame buffer object using the glgen frame buffers binding this frame buffer and setting the frame buffers texture 2D so gl frame buffer color attachment 0 gl texture 2D to textures at slot 1 which is, which is uh, the created texture here and also going to uncomment this and using the GL frame buffer render buffer function I'm setting the GL frame buffer GL depth attachment to uh, to this depth buffer we created here so in that way as you can see now it properly displays on the plane the chibi character there are no holes in the character. As you can see it also moves with the view. So if the chibi is not in the main view it also not textured. The plane uh, it also not shown in the plane. So this with these eight lines 
we created this very nice effect. So if you just want to know more about these functions, I encourage you to actually go to Google and just copy these functions. I'm also going to add this link uh, to the source code in the video description. You can just take a look at these functions, how do they work, although there is not too much information. I mean, if you just, let's say, copy this GR frame buffer render buffer to Google, uh, you will find the Kronos group, but sometimes this, uh, this documentation is not very clear what it does and how to use this. But you can, you can just experiment with all these functions and values and you will see just uh, how to say that learning by doing or trial try and fail and nothing is changing here so these are just the usual stuff uh, in the main loop so in the draw loop I'm just here drawing the chibi character so I'm binding the vertex array at uh, uh, index 0 bind the texture at index 0 or slot 0 set the model matrix and also using the draw arrays I'm drawing the chibi character and here draw the chibi to the custom frame buffer so first you need to bind that custom frame buffer so GL frame buffer and FBO with the bind frame buffer then, then I'm clearing the color of this custom frame buffer to 0, 0, 0 and 1 so red, green, blue and alpha so that way as you can see, this custom frame buffer uh, is black. The clear color is black, or the background color. And also here, uh, calling the GL clear color buffer bit and the depth buffer bit to actually uh, clear out the color and the depth buffer for this custom frame buffer as well. So then I'm drawing the, uh, the chibi character and binding the vertex array to zero and binding the frame buffer to zero and lastly i'm just here the drawing the plane so with vao1 we use the bind texture uh, texture at slot one which is the custom uh, i mean the empty texture so this one and also setting a uniform matrix for the plane position so it actually moves the plane to a little bit to the left so here it is negative 20 on x negative 3 on y and negative 10 on the z-axis and drawing the plane indices using draw elements because I, 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 I in the Plain VAO, as you can see, I'm also creating an element array buffer for the plane. Okay, so as I said, if you want to know more about how these functions work, just try to Google it because there is not too much explanation on how do they work, so I cannot explain how. I mean, not I cannot very well explain how to how this works. I'm just do did this uh, using trial and error.